So this past fall, um, I was traveling um, to Hyde Park a lot from the north side of Chicago uh, to visit my friends who are attending the University of Chicago. Um, and I would take the uh, red line down there and transfer to the eastbound 55 bus at Garfield. Um, but I found that sometimes I was waiting a long time for this bus to arrive, um, sometimes 20 plus minutes. Um, and after an especially bad um, incident where I got caught in the rain and was 30 minutes late to this event I was trying to go to, I kind of had it with this bus. And so I wondered, um, was I getting unlucky um, with my uh, timings um, to this station? And I also, uh, because the uh, CTA's bus schedule promises that this bus should arrive about every 10 minutes. Um, <laughs> At, at the time I was traveling. Um, and I also wanted to know, could I use a, maybe a data-driven approach to better time my trips to Hyde Park? Um, so after some thought and some research, um, I concluded that I needed to collect um, the location data of all the 55 buses over some period of time using the CTA's bus tracker API. Um, this is the same API that the transit apps use to give you estimated arrival times. Um, and I also decided that I would use Python um, with pandas to work on this project. I didn't really know Python that well at the time, but <coughs> thankfully I found the uh, Chippy mentorship applied and was accepted. Um, so I wrote a script that queried the transit um, API and uh, I ran it 24-7 for two months straight in February and March and collected all this data. So this is a sample of some of the raw data that I collected. Um, so the CTA's bus fleet is divided into routes. Um, in this case, I'm interested in Route 55. Uh, routes are further subdivided into patterns, um, and each pattern is assigned a PID. Uh, a pattern is just the sequence of stops that a bus travels to. Um, so some patterns travel the full extent of the route, some only travel a subset of the route. Um, I was also so the data also has p dist, um, that is the pattern distance, that is how far along the pattern in feet the bus has traveled. Um, trip ID is just an ID the CTA assigns to each um, bus trip. And then the uh, timestamp is the time that the bus updated its location to the API. So now that I had all this data, um, what do I need to do with it? Well, the Bus Tracker API doesn't um, tell you when a bus arrives at a particular stop, so I had to interpolate the time that it arrived at the stop using the timestamps and the pattern distances. Um, I also needed to create a unique ID for each, each bus trip so I could sort them and differentiate each trip. The trip IDs that the CTA provides aren't actually unique. Um, they recycle them from day to day. I think I found in one case they use the same one twice in one day. Um, and then another issue I ran into was I had to deal with some funky behavior on, uh, the, at the terminal stations. Um, I don't really have time to explain um, what that issue was, but basically to solve it, I had to take the location of the terminal stops and move them inward a couple hundred feet. Um, so I cleaned and processed the data and made it into this uh, timetable. So each row in the timetable is a trip and each uh, column tells you the time that a bus arrived at a particular stop. And then from this, I could easily calculate the uh, trip time between two stops by subtracting columns, and I could find the wait time between buses by subtracting adjacent rows. Um, so I took all of this uh, data and I made, put it, um, plotted it using, oh, it is not showing. That is weird. Ah, there we go. So I took all of this data and plotted it uh, using Bokeh and embedded it into a Flask app. Um, so to try to answer my original question, if I um, put in the starting stop that I was at, so the Garfield Red Line, and I usually got off the bus around Woodlawn, and I usually traveled around 3.30 PM, We'll get some plots. And I found that 
Um, the median wait time at this hour was, or at this time, was about 12 minutes. And actually, in one of my blog posts, I discovered that wait times of 20 minutes are in the 90th percentile of wait times. So I was actually getting pretty unlucky. Um, so, Um, yeah, I'm interested in issues with transit and access to transit, so um, if you want to talk to me about this project, just find me after the talks. Thank you.